So if we look here on the left hand side, this is kind of your before, okay? Left arm there, right arm there, kind of shaft there. So the shaft's almost in the middle of your arms, if that makes sense, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now this I would say is a little bit for me, a bit too far forward with your weight, but the lead arm is better. Mm -hmm. I prefer to see your, your spine angle rather than being here just move back a little bit, okay? So there's a little bit more tilt back behind the golf ball. But certainly though, in terms of the left and the right wrist position, this angle here on the right wrist is good. That's in a nice straight line, okay? That's obviously a shorter swing. What you had before, the takeaway was better. Okay, club's going back now more in line with the body, okay? But as you come back to the golf ball here now, it impact the ball's now being blurred, okay? So you strike at the ball, and there's your hands now probably behind here. The finish line really is that sort of up against it. Now your hips are gone there, but your hands are kind of released the club, which is again adding loft to the golf club. Now if I take that shaft here now and just moved it this way, okay, we're now de-lofting that golf club three or four degrees, okay? And that's going to give you the numbers you want to do a better, more sort of at least more penetrating launch angle and more of a controlled spin rather than sort of up in the air, lofting up really high. And again, if you're releasing the club this way, it's like throwing a, a rugby ball or a ball from behind you. It's just hard to control it. You've got to use a little wrist to try and flick it. If we can get that club striking the ball with everything kind of more in front of you, it's a lot easier, okay? So this movement on the right hand, yes, it's a smaller swing, okay? We could certainly get a bit more to the right. You said about you look at your shadow, okay? If you look at your shadow there, you can see it. I would say your shadow is still more to the left. If we just moved you sort of over to your right side, it would certainly help. But in terms of impact... As you come back to the golf ball, you can see there's no impact. That's what we're looking for, or more so compared to your and that. Yeah, get yourself in a much more kind of lead side in a straighter line. Hands, the right wrist is still kind of maintained a bit of angle here. Now it's not kind of flattened off on that right wrist, adding loft and and in effect like squaring the club face up. You'd often sort of take the golf club back and open the face and you kind of figure that away yourself. We said about that sort of release the club at this face. There's something you kind of did to sort of square the club face up. When this was a problem, this was your cure. Mm -hmm. We've now fixed this. We don't need to do this anymore now, okay? We can control that club a lot better. Get the club now in line with the back of your palm there and just sort of come through, hitting it kind of like a, a high five here rather yeah. than going and doing that. But we couldn't really do this until this was fixed. Because if you start trying to put your hands forward, the club face now wide open, you'd be in the side ball then you'd walk up the lesson. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough of that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, definitely the better takeaway now with that right wrist. The setup, I think, is going to take a little bit of practice. I'd just try and recommend yeah, using definitely. mirrors and stuff at home. The shadow will certainly help, but it's often tough to then not look at the shadow when you're swinging the golf club. And when you play golf and the sun's out, when it does come up three or four days a year. Okay, but definitely the sensation of being behind it when you were behind it, you felt it in your rear somewhere. Yeah, no definitely. Way that. Mm -hmm. um, we're just getting that kind of slightly tilted back. I mean, if you remember that photograph, we can, the one I had on interview, we, I'll send this to you as well so you can have a reminder of uh, what it looked like. Uh, that one there. And there would be more kind of what we're looking for on terms of your setup. So it's a bit more of a sort of vertical line with your left shoulder down. It's not so much leaning with your left side there, okay? Shoulders a bit more tilted back, just your head's behind the ball a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, we compare that one to that there. Just a difference in your shoulders and your head. It's a lot more lean, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It felt you know, miles behind the golf ball, didn't it, really? But in yeah. reality, if you look at all good players and stuff, that's kind of a sort of a position they're going to get their lead shoulder, lead hand, a nice line there and then the handle going across an angle that way. So getting in that better setup will help, obviously. And then there's that control of that club face with the back of that right wrist, how that club's going to come through. And again, I would work on hitting shots. Again, the, the height will obviously get low when you swing it softer, but the launch angle is all the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, when well, you're doing 30, 50, 70, 80 yard shots, you're still getting 21, 22s in some ways, okay? Because obviously the club still, the ball still leaves the club face on the same trajectory. Yeah. It just doesn't go as high if it's hit softer. Mm -hmm. But the launch conditions are always the same. Okay, so work on that kind of, that angle of the shaft out, using the impact bag, hit the bag and hold it, look at the face, see how it looks, looks okay. Hit the bag, how it looks, looks okay, that kind of thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah, no, perfect. Good man, very good. Right.